It is a, such a windy day. It's unreal. Can't go skiing. But it's clear out, so I might as well ride my bike. But not my typical bike. Today it's all about knobbies. Out here in Jackass, just a couple of places where you gotta do uh, some snow crossing, but other than that, it's pretty solid. This is that time of year when we're out here, we're searching for trails, we're looking for things that are open for dirt, and sometimes it backfires and we gotta hike through a mile of snow, but we're out here, we're trying. Definitely in like wimpy road biker mode. I've got road pressures in the tires, and I'm kind of a kind of a, a, a wimp, scaredy cat on all these jumps. Just haven't been on the dirt very much, so I don't know, it's I'm just just pushing out here. trail bikes, enduro, with all the jumps. And especially right now, um, <laughs> just not having like the skills to properly ride on the dirt, carry speed, momentum. But as time goes on, we get better. Just steady, steadily getting more comfortable on the dirt, trusting the bike and your tires. Here I am at the top of the donkey trail. It just goes down to 89 from here. And I'm already feeling a lot better on these trails, uh, these small jumps going over rocks. And yeah, just, uh, I think if you're gonna do a trail, first time, take it super chill, easy, nothing crazy. And then the second time, push a little bit more and then just keep progressively faster. I don't think anyone's ever that fast on their first time on a trail. Um, even if you've been on it last summer, conditions are always changing. So one thing I was wondering is if there's an e-biker behind me, do I pull over and let him go past? Even though technically I'm more fit and they're barely a pedaling. I'll tell you, some of these e-bikes these days, I mean, you might as well be on a dirt bike. 